How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and this is iOS 18 in just a few minutes because maybe you don't want to spend over half an hour on a YouTube video. But don't worry because if you do want to check out every single one of the features that I'm about to show you in detail, in depth, I will have specific videos for every single one of those features on the channel on the next few days. So stick around and subscribe. Starting with a new home screen, which may not seem really new, but if you pull down the control center, and we're going to talk about that in a second, and enable dark mode, take a look, everything becomes dark. Not just the wallpaper, but every single app as well. As you can see right here, some third-party apps are not compatible just yet for obvious reasons, but they will be compatible in the upcoming weeks and months. And there's actually a ton of customization. So if you actually go ahead and tap and hold on your home screen and then tap on edit and then customize, take a look. You can choose to go automatic. So your apps will follow the dark or light mode, just dark, just light or tinted and i personally hated it i think it looks very bad but for some people who want it really customizable and matching their personality i don't know maybe they'll like it but i don't like it but it's up to you and of course you can also go ahead and make all apps large this is a new thing so gone with the name it becomes very large or small it's up to you. Moving on, we can now rearrange apps the way we want. So if I tap on one and then group them together, you can just move to another page, for example, let go. And as you can see, they stick where you left them. So if I actually put one of them up here and then one on the left, it, it stays there. Looks like Android, right? Now let's talk about the control center. So as you can see, it's been completely redesigned. We have new icons, it's completely new, and we have new functionality as well. So so if we scroll, we have those pages now. So we have control center, we have of course music, and then we have smart home, and then we have connectivity. And you can also cycle through those pages just like that if you want to. And it's fully customizable as well. If you tap on plus right here, you can adjust everything, including the size, the position, as you can see right here. So everything super easy and you can make something large. For example, the music app, it'll readjust. There you go. And as you can see right here, it's huge like that. And you can do it for everything. So you can really make it your own. And right here on add a control, you see the amount of new controls we have for the control center. So take a look at this. It's absolutely infinite. And not only from Apple native options and controls, but of course from third party apps in the future as well. So this is just insane. So finally, the control center is going to be amazing. Now take a look at this. If I lock my iPhone and then I tap on it, face ID, and then I tap and hold, customize, lock screen, we can finally choose those two icons which were fixed for flashlight and camera. All you have to do is tap on one of them, tap on plus, and then right here we have the same controls as on the control center. So of course you can choose anything that you want, like for example, airplane mode if you travel a lot. Now, one of the best iOS 18 features, which is the fact that you can finally individually lock any application on your iPhone with your face ID and password. Take a look at this. If I tap and hold on Instagram, for example, because I don't want people taking a look at my Insta, right? You can tap on require face ID, and then you can choose to always require face ID when you tap on it, or even further to hide and require face ID. So if I tap on this option, I have to authenticate with my face and then hide app. As you can see, it's gone. And then it'll live right here in the app library at the bottom on hidden. And of course, the only way to access is tap on it, face ID, and then you'll be able to see it. Amazing. Now take a look at this little animation. So we have the edges here of the iPhone, right? This black thin line right here. So if you go ahead and press any buttons, physical, physical buttons on your iPhone, as you can see, it's as if you're pressing in the screen, you're squeezing your iPhone. Take a look at this. It's just something really fun, really interesting, and it's not a functionality thing or anything like that. It's just for fun. Now let's talk about messages because I absolutely love this. So if you say, for example, hello, and you tap on this new icon, now you have the possibility to animate 
any of your messages as you can see for example if you tap on shake and then you already see how it's gonna look like you send and then it's gonna be shaking for the person who receives it so so cool on top of that if you tap on it once again you can easily choose if you want to go bald and of course other options as well like highlight and all of that italic so if you say hello once again as you can see it's already just like that but probably the best new feature is by tapping on the plus and then more and right here send later so for example you can say uh good morning right good morning typical message but now it's in the middle of the afternoon but you can actually schedule that message to be sent tomorrow let's say tomorrow at 7 a.m and then as you tap on send It'll be sent just tomorrow at 7 a.m. as if you're sending it live at that moment. <laughs> Incredible, right? So you have send later, of course, you can edit that later. And then how amazing is that? And it actually stays hidden, as you can see right here. So then it doesn't get in the way of your typical conversation that's happening today, not tomorrow. Now we have to talk about the completely new calculator app. And it may not seem completely new, right? It's pretty much the same. But if you press on the calculator button, you have the possibility to choose to scientific, as you can see, in vertical mode. Tap on it once again, and then you can go to math notes. <laughs> this is incredible. So I'll create a new note, and then I'll actually write it down. So if I go ahead and go for one, nine divided by two equals, and then 9.5 so as you can see it just calculates in front of your eyes using ai just like that this is so cool and of course we have the history now so if you go for two plus two as you can see we have a history right and if you tap on this icon right here at the top left corner we have a full history of everything that we have written and all the calculations that you have done in the calculator app if we go to settings you can see that it's new as well it may not seem new but take a look at this if we scroll down that's it it ends here it's so much more concise, as you can see, because now we have apps separated and grouped by name. So this is really, really nice. And as you can see, every single screen, every single page and section has been redesigned as well. Now we have to talk about the new Photos app, and that's completely new as well. As you can see, we have here our recent apps, like your photo gallery, right? But if we scroll down, we have recent days. So all of your photos and videos from today, yesterday, Sunday, and so on. People and pets, pin collections, your memories and so on uh, here it would be my trips but as you can see we don't have available information just because the photos app is indexing my over 34,000 items so that will be for another video because as i said if you missed in the beginning i'll have specific videos for every single one of those features that i'm showing you in depth all right so stick around and last but not least i want to talk about the new passwords app which used to live in the settings now we have a dedicated passwords app of course protected by your face id and right here you have all your passwords your keys your wi-fi keys deleted codes and everything like that so much better so much more organized and then that's literally it that's ios 18 in just a few minutes if you want to see everything in detail, don't forget to subscribe, like, because there will be a ton of content in this amazing special week. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.